In my previous videos, I have mainly focused on showing how we can conduct thematic analysis and even code interview transcripts using NVivo. However, what happens when you want to use secondary sources such as PDFs and images as your main sources of data in your study? Some researchers might also decide to combine interview transcripts with secondary sources of information or artifacts, such as PDFs and images in their qualitative studies. In this video, we are going to look at how we can analyze PDFs and images in NVivo. Now, how can we analyze images and PDFs in NVivo? Let's quickly go through that. Here we have the PDFs that we are going to analyze and also we have some images. The example topic that we are going to use in this video is the importance of using teaching aids in the classroom. What's the importance of using teaching aids in the classroom? We want to do some analysis of the PDFs and the images related to this issue of importance of using teaching aids in the classroom. How can we get codes and DIMMs in PDFs and also in images? Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is to open NVivo. I double click on NVivo and wait for it to open. For this one, we are going to just name it importance of using teaching aid in the classroom. I name it like that. I click on next. Remember, click on manual save reminders every 15 minutes and create project. These are the files. Again, this is in vivo. We have the, this section and the blue menu. Let's import the files here. And we have two types of files. So I create a new folder and call these PDFs. We have PDFs and we have images. PDFs and images. In the PDFs folder, I go and drag the PDFs and start with the PDFs here. These are the secondary articles. Let's assume we are analyzing this for our study. I drag and drop them there. In the images, I do the same. Go and get the images. Drag and drop it here. Let's start with the PDFs. How do we analyze PDFs or secondary scholarly articles? in NVivo. Let's say you are conducting a study, importance of using teaching aids in the classroom, and you've interviewed some teachers and the teachers have given you some PDFs as artifacts or secondary articles. How do we analyze them? Two ways. We have the inductive way. The inductive way of analyzing this is first, we can read through the PDFs as we would do regular transcripts and go and code information that we find interesting. Let's look at this statement. The use of teaching aids in teaching and learning process is very important. This is because it will assist in effective learning for students, particularly for remedial students. Teaching aids also facilitate the students to understand the lessons presented by teachers. Let's highlight this statement, for instance. And just as normal, go to the codes area. We can create a folder, call it new folder, call this initial codes. So teaching aids facilitate the students to understand the lessons presented by the teachers. Drag and drop this inside here and say, remember, the research topic I'm exploring is the importance of using teaching aids in the classroom. And we can see already here that teaching aids facilitate students to understand lessons presented by teachers. So I can code this as teaching aids from what understanding and click. Okay. Teaching aids can result in effective learning and able to attract students to pursue activities in the classroom. So, teaching aids can increase the interests of students in the classroom, okay? That's another thing that teaching aids can do. Shows that teaching aids usage can help teachers to attract students in the learning process of reading remedial students. That also can represent that teaching aids can attract or can increase the interest of students in the classroom. These are codes that I'm creating. So whether we have secondary sources, which are PDFs, we can extract statements from PDFs and get codes. And later we can combine codes to get themes. That's an example of one way that we analyze PDFs in NVivo. And this is inductive. Inductive means we are reading the material in our PDFs or secondary sources, and the material is informing how we create our codes, okay? To get more information on 
the process or the difference between inductive and deductive thematic analysis, I'm going to link another video so that you can go and explore that. But basically, the inductive process involves letting the data provided by participants or the data in the PDFs in this case determine our codes. Then we combine that data or we combine the codes to form thin. So this is one of the PDFs and that's how we analyze a PDF in NVivo inductively. Let me interrupt this video for a minute and inform you of my services. My first type of service that I offer is consulting for anything related to qualitative data analysis using NVivo. You hop on a video call with me through Microsoft Teams or Zoom and I will help you become a pro with NVivo in a few hours. I also provide a done for you data analysis service. I do the manual coding and provide a data analysis report with the necessary visual. Some kind of visuals I do include tables, hierarchy charts, and the framework matrix. Email or message me right now, details in the description. Now we can also analyze the PDF deductively. Let's say we have a PDF and actually let me rename this folder properties to inductive inductive initial codes and let's go create another folder and say deductive initial codes how do we do the deductive coding process the tool or nvivo can help you to do deductive coding in many ways first if you have PDFs or secondary sources, you can do something we call autocoding. I, um, I went to the PDFs, click on the two PDFs, and then I go to autocode or I right click and select autocode. We want to identify themes and we want to, to autocode all this information. We want to see the main issues that come out of these PDFs. All these are the main issues and we click finish. These are the main issues, but we will not focus on that. Let's go to the autocoded themes. And because I had already created the deductive initial codes, I can rename this to deductive, but let's look. We have aids, appropriate teaching aids. Let's double click on this. This is information that was autocoded by NVivo. I can double click. I can go review this information and delete all information that's not important to our study and be left with only information that's important to our study. Basically, that's how we do a kind of deductive coding in NVivo by first we can do an autocode and then we can do a word search or text search query. If you remember, we are looking at the importance of using teaching aids in the classroom, okay? If I close all this, go to my PDS, select both of them and go to query, sorry, then text search query. And I want to look for text such as importance in this PDF. And we run query. I can look for this in the PDF and you can see, okay, this is not a good finding. Let's search for teaching aids. Let's run query. Let's look at that in the PDFs. Oh, you see, teaching so visual aids are instrumental these days in learning English as they play a vital role in facilitating comprehension. Actually, I can go highlight that section, go to the deductive initial code. This is deductive because I'm looking for specific things. It's like we normally do deductive thematic analysis where we have the issues or the themes that we want to look for first, and then we go and look for them in our study materials. For instance, here. This is one importance of teaching aids. They play a vital role in facilitating comprehension. I can drag and drop this and say promote comprehension. Click OK. That's one use. These aids bring clarity to the teaching process by assisting educators in effectively conveying information to students. Drag, drop. Teaching aids assist teachers to teach more effectively.
Then we have, by utilizing visual aids, teachers can enhance the presentation of materials, enabling students to quickly grasp and comprehend the concept being taught. We can see here that teaching aids, they promote comprehension also. I can highlight this section, drag and drop that, promote comprehension. Basically, you can see how we can code PDFs or any other scholarly articles or material deductively by first doing autocoding using NVivo and then looking for any important information or searching specifically for specific issues, which is also a deductive way of coding and then coding those issues. And then we are going to consider them as themes later. Basically, this is how we conduct the process of both inductive and deductive thematic analysis on PDFs in NVivo. We also have images. Let's look at how we can analyze images in NVivo. How can we analyze images in NVivo? By tagging them. For instance, here we have a teacher using teaching aid. Basically, what we do is we open an image and then we can draw just dragging your mouse over an image and we can code this. Let's code this in the inductive initial code section. I can tag this image as teacher using an abacus. As a teaching aid. It's like we are adding captions to the pictures, which are the codes in this case. And later we can include these pictures in our report. So teacher using abacus as a teaching aid. If someone double clicks that, they can see the image and they can always come back and see the coded area. Let's have an example of another image. Let's double click on this image. You can see there's a teacher showing students a globe. That's a teaching aid. We can highlight this section and we can code this as teacher using a globe as a teaching aid and click OK. Let's have another image. For example, this image, we can see these are visual aids that teachers are using to teach the letters of the alphabet to kindergarten or preschool students. We can highlight this and we say an example of a teacher using teaching aids in the classroom. Click OK. Basically, that's how we can code images and PDFs in NVivo. We just go in and if we are using an inductive process, we extract information as we will do in a regular interview. On the other hand, if we are doing deductive, we can use tools such as autocodes and text search and word search query to get specific information which we can code later. These are the main ways we can analyze PDFs in NVivo and also the coding of images. Thank you. Remember, I provide done-for-you data analysis services and consulting services for any problem or challenge related to NVivo. So check the link and email in the description and talk to me right away. Thank you.